Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's time for some Europa Universalis 4. As Russia, with the Rights of Man expansion, we are involved in a massive global conflict. Um, I'm allied with the Ottomans, and we are fighting, let's see, Genoa, Lithuania, Poland, and Sweden. It's quite a grand alliance there. Uh, we're making pretty good gains, actually, I would say. Um, we also took some territory from the Golden Hordes. Let's just go in speed four. I'm playing defensively against the, uh, the, the Polish down here. And also against the Swedes. Where are the Swedes? Domestic trade power. Oh, Jesus. We got revolts. Where? Ostrakhani separatists. 21,000. Pretty sure down here. Let's move some troops down in that direction. <clears throat> we can... Um, we have some force limit and some ship force limit available. Let's see, no guy. That's right, we can actually create some states. Um, preferably out of no guy. Where is that? Here. Uh, where else? Oop, oop. Bashkiria? That's where here? Yeah, it is. States demand control of territory. What a big surprise. The boyars are the Cossacks, right? Yeah. This is new. Whoa, look at this. It's got it's got a little thing of um Oh no, the boyars are the nobility. That's right. Yes, we want to give them Yeah, holy shit, look at that. That's that's different when you go, come up to the uh, the macro interface to give them territory. That's super different. Whoa. Let's give them places with manpower, hopefully. Like that's fine. Clergy, let's give them stuff with base tax. That's not bad. Uh, oh, they already have too much land. Okay. All right. <clears throat> we won't give them anything else. Okay. So. Let's see. This damn institutions thing. 61% penalty to attack. Jesus. Yeah, we definitely want to, we want to try and hang on to points as much as we can for now. We just got already crap ton of territory. We're going to have some serious rebel problems. All belongs to Mother Russia. Russia lays claims to the steppes. Immediately after the fall of Ostrakhan in the year 1557, Ivan IV launched a campaign in the steppes south of Kazan, the realm of the Nogai Horde, heirs of some Mongol people. Um, let's see, between 1560 and 1581, we were led by Cossacks, and um, we, they, the land fell into the control of the Russian Tsar. We were in Siberia. Uh, the Khan, we, we conquered the Khanate of Siberia by 1584. Sick. All right, so we, already, we already have claims here anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but... Um, is Saratov a state? Yeah, Saratov I can make it to a state as well. This guy. So we have a lot of points. We have a lot of, um, of Diplo. Pretty decent military tech as well. Holy shit, there's the Swedes. Wow. Where the hell are you going, buddy? I think he's coming straight for my, my 21 stack. Let's go ahead and try and get out of here to Kazan. Yeah, he is. He's trying to pursue my stack. Let's see. Can I force him into open battle? Preferably, let's go to Niji Novgorod. That's, uh, that's actually pretty good terrain. He's going to get a minus two if he attacks me there. Not bad. In the meantime, should I um, maybe send some more troops into Sweden? It's a possibility. It's going to take a while to siege down three forts, though. We could take the initiative, though. Poland and Lithuania are basically done. Hmm. I don't think we will, actually. Let's go ahead and just try and keep some troops here in, in friendly Russian territory. Swedes are actually retreating back. We have 50 war score against Poland. Holy God. That is a lot. Considering how large Poland is, that is, that is a lot. That is quite a bit of war score. It's pretty serious. Oh, there it is. Ottoman conquest in Moldavia. Uh, Genoa got pieced out. We lost 97,000, apparently, against Genoa. Genoa is forced to give the Ottomans war reps. They're going to give 450 ducats. We get 69. Nice. Nice. <clears throat> okay, so let's, uh, let's, let's reorganize here. I'd love to get some of these border forts. Severia, Smolensk, and Polotsk. Let's try and go for some of this. 
put a siege leader. How about we get some troops there? Sorry about that. Whoopsies. Let's get 20,000 on Smolensk. And how about, um, maybe I'll keep some troops nearby. We'll put some, uh, put some cannons in there. Let's go and detach the cannons. Holy shit, how big is this fort? No, it's only six. So we can just leave cannons there, right? Okay. And then here, we don't have any cannons with which to, to put into that fort. Okay. That's not a big deal, though. Uh, apparently, Swedish troops are down here, so let's move to engage those guys. We're going to leave the cannons there. I won't have any um, any troops to, to give them as reinforcements, but that's okay. This is our, this is our main military, military force. We're going to want to attack with this stack. Do a shuffle here. So we shuffled those guys. We got some sieges going on there. We got some more people here in Polosk. 14% already because of our cannon advantage. Uh, we're making money again. Cool. National manpower modifier. Sure, I'll take it. Let's see what I can get. Secure Western Siberia. That's possible. Yeah, we could attack the Uzbek. Although I believe we do have pretty pretty decent aggressive expansion, so we have to kind of wait. For a few years, not too long. <clears throat> Kazani separatists. Um, you guys suck. Let's go move on now. Let's keep a 25 stack just as reinforcements. Swedes are down here. They actually split up that stack. If I had troops down there, I would have attacked that for sure. Um, Jesus Christ. Ottomans, you want to help me out with some rebels? No? Okay. That's all right. No uh, no worries, man. No worries. Nothing 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 taken personally. Let's see Golden Horde to control this here. Let's go and attack this 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 guy. And Saratov. Pretty sure, yeah, they're actually gonna get there at the same time, so that's fine. My god, look at that. You can take Diplotech finally. Still no damn colonialism. It's just spreading here. Oh no, we're not getting it at all. Shit. That's terrible, man. That's terrible. Yeah, colonialism, the the um to get colonialism in your country is, is starting to appear pretty difficult. Um it's already 1562, so we're 12 years into the next institution, which would be printing press. And not, we're not really getting that one either. Only here in my in my capital. Decent printing press and loyal clergy. Capital of a country with Diplotech 15. Well, I say we just take this. I don't think there's any reason to hold off on it, even though we do have incredible tech penalties. Um, you know, if we try and save those points, we're, we're just going to become more and more behind. So it's just not even going to be worth it. I've lost a um, pretty, pretty decent amount of men in this war. Let's go ahead and keep the stack together. 3.5%, that is quite a bit. We usually should be taking 5%, but I think because of our improved forging, that's not happening. So our cap is, I believe, at 3.5%. That's as much attrition as we can take. So let's actually detach the calf. Advisors, trade efficiency. I'll take it. I'll take the trade efficiency. Um, let's see, what else are we dealing with? Quality ideas, expansion ideas. No, we have to, we have to keep advancing on tech as much as we can. We are paying increasingly difficult penalties, but I have to do uh, what I have to do. Netherlands declared independence. Ooh. Is Burgundy a great power? They are. They might not be anymore, but they are. Hmm. Warriors do not read books. Cool. Yagaterina, the first time in the trade, strict. They just need to be whipped into shape. Ooh. She's a badass queen. That's who she is. Okay, okay, Ottomans, you should you should look into piecing out now. <laughs> We'll get average penalties. Let us bide our time. Yeah, we need to um, we need to finish this up, Ottomans. I think you guys are, are maybe maybe taking a little too long on this. Siege of Severia. We just won the Siege of Severia. Split these stacks here. Let's keep some troops here in the borders. Son of a bitch. More? 
More Ostrakhani Separatists? Damn. The defensive planner guy. That guy. Are you serious? Wow, man. Those damn Separatists. Okay. Like, look at how much we own. Like, holy shit. This is a lot of territory that we own, guys. I don't get it. You know, it'd be nice if we had a missionary. An inquisitor? Influence needs to be greater than 40. An inquisitor would give us a level 3 inquisitor 50% cheaper to employ. That would be that'd be pretty cool for, the, for those points. Because we do have a lot of money right now, so... It might actually be worth getting an inquisitor. Um, let's check out our production. I want to see here. Is there anything that we can upgrade for our production? Um, anything above like 0.8 maybe? 0.8 is even not that bad. Novgorod's got excellent production. Um, it'd be interesting if they had a macro of this too. That would be pretty cool. Ooh, these are really good production provinces. Most of your income will come from taxation, but production is, is just, you know, that ever so slight helping hand. Yeah, okay, let's go there. So, we spent all our money doing that. Do you see this? Do you see how much territory we occupied? My god. We really should start to finish this up, Ottomans. I don't know what's taking them so long. Peasants. Swedish peasants. They took uh, Abo, Abo Finland. Yeah, no shit, we got a call for peace. Oh my god, there must be something that I occupy that they want. That's what I'm thinking is happening here. Like maybe up here, I don't know, or something. I'm not really sure what's going on yet. This call for peace though, this, this needs to, yeah, we need to get out of here. I mean, I, I have quite a bit of war score against them myself. 13%, huh? Hmm. Ottoman troops in Sweden. I don't think something like that has ever existed in history. That's right, the Emperor of Burgundy was re-elected as the Holy Roman Emperor. Hmm. Let's not keep troops in enemy territory. I'm going to go ahead and take this mission to secure Western Siberia. I think we will be attacking uh, the Chagatai and the Uzbeks sometime soon, most likely. <clears throat> My Saritsa France paid off all the foreign debt of Genoa. 170 ducats. Damn. When's this truce up? This truce is going to be up in 1573 with the Golden Horde, so we'll have to fully annex those guys then. Okay. Damn. This cough piece is going to get worse. Ottoman surrender, damn it. End the war. End it. You bastards. We got another colony that's now self sufficient. Which one is it? Is this one? Ooh, we have an estuary here. Let's go ahead and take that estuary. There's actually a lot of development up here. This is a 331 province. Seven development. Wow. That's quite a bit. Gonna keep some troops in there. No, no natives really exist there. <clears throat> one of my YouTube viewers said that Burgundy is actually the emperor. That's a first. <laughs> Which is funny because actually I remember when I when I first found out about that in my, my campaign, I was very surprised. So it was pretty pretty interesting. Oh my god, Ottomans. Okay, you're you're making this you're making this difficult. Hmm. Yeah, they're not gonna give me much. Our Saritsina will handle that. Our Saritsa, or whatever the hell our name is. We are an empire, aren't we? No, we're still Sardom, I think. Are we Empire rank? Hmm. No, actually, I think we are Empire Rank. That's right. 
Holy shit, look at that. They're still putting up quite a resistance. Are you serious, man? Look at that. Holy shit, 70,000. Finally, the Ottoman conquest of Moldavia. Holy shit. Against Sweden. Sweden lost 36,000. We lost a quarter of a million fighting Sweden. Well, sort of. It's kind of just like the whole war. What did I lose? I lost 50,000. Jesus. Sweden will cede Viborg to Russia. Sweden will know all treaties with Poland. Yay, we got territory. Thank God. Cool. I don't think it's worth raising autonomy. I can't get this below 10 anyway. So I won't even worry about it. If we have to deal with uh, revolts, we will deal with revolts. Is it worth taking any of these ideas? I don't think so. Not right now. Maybe a little later. Um... For that for that colonist, that would be that'd be pretty cool. But we are we are paying incredible penalties for this. Oh come on, man, come on. You you are you serious? Are you serious right now? He's got sixty five war score. Just take what you want. I wonder if that's what's messing with them. Because huh. actually, if, if this is for Moldavia, like I have, I have claims. There we go. Yeah, that must have been what was what was messing with them is that I had Moldavia claimed as a uh, as important. Holy shit! Poland will see Mayros, Halis, Moldavia, Podole, and Bender to uh, the Ottomans. Lithuania will see Yedizan, Bratislava, and Ingold to the Ottomans. Lithuania will see Smolensk and Kursk to Russia. Holy shit! Ottomans and Poland. Oh my god, he actually took territory that's claimed by me. These are permanent claims. Wow. Look at the balance of power in this, though. 178,000 people have died on the Allied side. We, as the attackers, lost 282,000, a quarter of a million. And we just took two more provinces. Kick balls. That is hella cool. Yeah, Rainy Zinian and Catholic... Uh, here we can we can raise the autonomy because this this will eventually clear itself up. Ottomans, uh, yeah, the Ottomans have rivaled me now. Alrighty, good to know. Ottomans, and that means France is also my enemy because they're allied with the Ottomans historically. Okay. Wow. Wow. So Poland is not a not a what? Really? Poland, what happened here? Poland annexed Lithuania? But no Commonwealth. How is that possible? Can you do that? Yeah, you can do that. Oh my god, dude. The Ottomans have taken so much territory. I don't think they ever historically owned this. They owned, like, maybe some of the Crimean Khanate around here, around the Black Sea. But I don't know if they ever, like, made it this far into, um, into Romania. You know, this was usually... Um, Moldavia and, and, and Milwaukee were usually independent here as like buffer states. That's as far as they ever got. Um, I know that they always made it to they made it to Vienna one time. It's pretty far. It's actually pretty historical Ottomans for 1566, but you know, uh, let's see. Can I make any states? Nothing that I see. Okay, so we have manpower. We have money. Polonola considers me as a rival. I would argue with that. Great Britain might be a good ally. I have no allies whatsoever, actually. Austria is always a good friend. And... Are you serious? What? No way. No way. Austria went reformed. Wow. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Holy shit. France has stayed mostly, mostly Catholic. Italy stayed Catholic too. But dude, the entire Holy Roman Empire, all of Germany is freaking reformed and Protestant. That's crazy, man. 
any other allies that I can look to? The Ottomans, um, Spain, Spain, yeah, dis dislikes the Ottomans. So maybe, maybe Spain is a good buddy. Uh, Spain's also allied to, uh, rival to France. So Spain and, and perhaps Austria and Great Britain could be allies. We shall make the clergy loyal. The clergy. <laughs> Dude, I love Johan, man. His accent when he when he talks, <laughs> or like like some people talked about him in the uh, in the trailer, in the trailer for Rights of Man. You know, they said like he has like a baby face or something. <laughs> it's so funny. I love that guy. He's awesome. <clears throat> Okay, guys, I, I think I'm going to take a break here. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. If you're in the YouTube chat, don't go anywhere. And I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much.